Hi everyone, uh, this is the uh, first LEGO League, just informational video for both kids, parents, and uh, coaches. So I'll just get started here for the first LEGO League website. Uh, anyone can search onto this website. Uh, you're gonna go to first LEGO League, uh, go to season, There's lots of things here under this uh, these tabs. Uh, download Masterpiece Season Materials, this is more for coaches, but if parents you want to play around with this, you can. Uh, it gives you everything about this season's uh, competition. So it gives you a score calculator, mission model, building instructions, challenge over uh, overview. Um, your rubrics are here for how the judges are going to judge you. All of it is in this space here, uh, again, uh, first Lego League main page and then season. And then you're going to go down to download Masterpiece Season Materials. And then coaches, I'll send you out a separate link for that as well. Uh, I may have already done that, but I'll do it again just to make sure. Next, uh, so just some basic information for our season. Uh, welcome to the 2023-24 robotic season. Uh, first Lego League tournament is December 9th at the Hermantown High School. If you need any information about that, contact me. These are for ages four through nine. Uh, and not ages, I'm sorry, grades four through nine. First Tech Challenge is a tournament we're going to offer uh, this year. Uh, we have a First Tech Challenge uh, team. Uh, Amelia Magnuson is heading up that team. This is their second year. Uh, they're looking for possibly some more kids. Uh, that she's typically looking for kids grades seven through 12 uh, for that uh, as well. So you can talk, contact Amelia or contact me and I will get you that information uh, on how to contact Amelia. And we also have our FRC team, which is nine through 12. And then uh, Lisa Klein is in charge of that. Uh, and uh, you know, if you want your kids eventually to move up through that high school team, the logical step is to start at the first Lego League, uh, which many of you are obviously, move into that first tech for a few years, or if they like it enough, stay until 12th grade, and then uh, possibly sometime in that ninth and 10th grade year, they can move on to that FRC team. Lisa's looking for programmers. So kids, you like programming? They're always looking for programmers at that high school team. All right, let's get into the behaviors. So we have had some behavioral issues over the past few years. So I just want to go through what the expectations are. Uh, so if you have any questions or concerns, please talk to Amelia or I. Uh, any behaviors that threaten personal safety, uh, physical form or aggression, unwanted touching, inappropriate language, bullying, physical, written, verbal, or cyber, Behavior that causes destruction, whether it's Lego destruction or property in the classroom, um, this is not acceptable. Behavior that disrupts the coach from fulfilling their ability to care for all students or all kids on the team. Um, removing self from the group without approval, lack of self-control, blatant refusal to follow instructions or directions from the coach. Your uh, occurrences, first occurrence is just a basic parent notification. Second occurrence, parent will be notified. Uh, as a result, your child will not be able to attend the next three scheduled practices. And in a third occurrence, if there's a third occurrence, parent must attend all practices with the child or uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to remove them from the team. There's just not enough time during practice to handle behaviors during that practice. We have too much to get through as coaches. Uh, we have a lot of moving parts going on, uh, and the kids really just need to be focused and working the whole time. It's, it's, it's a competition. Uh, if it was basketball, you know, you'd expect the same, same type of, uh, behaviors that you're going to behave, work hard and do the right thing. Just because it's Legos, you're not there to play. You're there to work towards your competition and do as the best you can. Next, uh, F, and I just kind of already uh, talked about this. FLL and FTC is a competition for FFL, FLL. You build a robot, you program a robot, 
you do a research project, and then you do presentations for both the program, uh, the robot and the research project, and then you have your competition for the robot on the field mat. And the kids also have to learn uh, the seven basic core values. So there is a lot of work going into that season. There's only 28 practices. That sounds like a lot, but actually with days off of school, um, you know, unless your coach throws in a weekend practices, 28 is about all you're going to get in. And in, in about an hour and a half to two hour practice, there is a lot of work that needs to get done. Uh, we just don't have time for those those behaviors and silliness. And, uh, you know, we, we definitely will incorporate break times and, and times to be, have fun and be silly as coaches, but, but really we're, we, we need the kids there working. Uh, so, um, so that's just kind of our, how I just, as a parent, I just want you to know what the kids are going to be working on. It is tough work for them, especially that research project. A lot of kids aren't going into robotics to, do a research project. Uh, that's not what they're there for, um, but that is one of the requirements for FLL, for our competition. FTC is a little different, and Amelia can, and uh, if you have questions about that, Amelia can talk to you more. They run this more like a business, a small business. Uh, they build a robot, they fundraise, they do lots of outreach. They'll come and uh, mentor FLL teams. They'll go to events uh, throughout the summer. Uh, and they also have the same core values we do in FLL, and they program and build a robot. So lots of things going on in both. And again, they'll have about 28 practices, maybe a few more than us, uh, because they pretty much run year round on the FTC team. And then again, you then you have that next level FRC in the high school. Parents, what you, can you do? Uh, you can help with homework. If any homework comes home, uh, I'll send it as a coach out by email saying that there's homework. Because if I tell the kids to do something, that doesn't always happen. <laughs> that, that information does, doesn't always get back to you. Uh, so I always email if there's homework. And for my team, there is already homework uh, out there for you in an email. Uh, come and help at practices, uh, help the coach out. Uh, sometimes we just need an extra body. You can come and help do a research project with the kids. You can help um, focus on how to research, how to look up information. It's not always about programming the robot. Um, it's not always about building the robot. So don't, don't feel like you can't do anything. Bring a snack. So the, the teams always love to have snacks. Donate uh, if you run a business or work at a business that can help build our program. I know we need more Spike Prime robots for the FLL uh, portion of uh, our league. And then I know uh, Amelia is always looking for donations for her league as well. Talk to the kids about what they're doing after practice. Sometimes there's frustration and, uh, you know, and uh, whether it's with another person or with what they're trying to do with the robot, uh, it, it, it sometimes we just have frustrating practices. It, it's hard work these kids are doing. They're using their brains hard, especially after school. They're, they've been working all day and now they have to work another two hours after school. They're gonna be tired at the end of the day. So, so, so just if your kid comes home crabby, it's because maybe something's not going right at practice. Come and see uh, what the kids are doing, be informed. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a, it's a neat program. It's a great program. They're learning, uh, the kids are learning to become team members, uh, role models for other people. Uh, everybody has an important role, uh, whether they're programmers or builders or an expert re in research, they all have their role, uh, and, and their role is important. Uh, and being a, on a robotics team is the hardest fun the kids will have. It's hard work. Uh, but in the end, at the tournament, to see their faces, how excited they are, the, smile, how, the smiles, um, and sometimes tears, depending on what happens at the tournament, uh, it's, it's, it's very rewarding. And these kids are setting themselves up for, for potentially a great future uh, being, in, uh, being on a robotics team. So if you have any questions, contact me uh, for FLL, contact Amelia for FTC. Uh, we'd be happy to, 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 uh, to talk to you about it. And uh, 
we're just off to a great season. So good luck and teams, good luck. Uh, I know you'll do well, work hard, listen to your coaches. It's it's every person that's uh, doing an FFL, FLL team, FTC team, it's all volunteer. None of us get paid to do it. Uh, it's, it's just because we like it so much. So have a great season and uh, I'll stop and see how your teams are doing.